Y'all show is ghetto. Allegedly. The world's finest man. The Ghetto Ways Morning Show. <laughs> With Johnny Domino and Big Data. Leopard inside that uh, green, man. Yana did that? You sure did. I heard you call the other day. Good morning, good morning. Thank you for tuning in to the Ghetto Ways Morning Show. I'm your host, Johnny Domino. And I am Big Dana. Good morning, good morning, good morning. This morning, I am thankful that uh, I am the shade of the most powerful race in the world. The brown. Wow. The black. The beautiful. The proud. The proud. <laughs> Today, Good y'all, one. we got to kick off some bullshit. But look, if I tell the truth, what's wrong with that? Mm-hmm. Uh, ain't nothing wrong with telling the truth. Ain't nothing wrong with telling the truth? Uh-uh. Dana, what are you grateful and, and, and happy about this moment? Uh, well, life. Amen. Waking up is new grace. It's new mercy. Uh, another chance to start all over again. Well. Well. <laughs> yeah. Let me preach a little bit. But that's that's what I'm proud of. All right. Look, I want to let y'all know that uh, episode one is now available on YouTube. And in a little bit, if everything... Hey, get them out of here. They ain't give us no money. Get that out of there. They did not pay uh, us. I, if you won't get on this show, you got to pay. <laughs> bow, bow, bow. Uh, I'm racist. I see. <laughs> I'm sick of what they do, black folk, man. I'm tired of it. I and black I really Dallas love, count too. Now, you know I love white folk, too. But I'm just saying, I am pro-black to yeah, death. You, you love white folks because... Because mama, your mama, wife. my mama don't like white folks. I, I already know. <laughs> <laughs> she don't like nobody. Very biased. <laughs> she, she, she on the side of real for real. <clears throat> if you fake, she does not like you. Do man. not. Mom's a G. But check this out today, y'all. Today, uh, I want to talk to y'all about this past week. So this past week, me, Gene, uh, uh, Luda, uh, Lyell, You know, the representative from Zachary, man, we all went to the redistricting uh, council meeting, right? And what I be trying to get y'all about showing up, sending emails, writing letters, uh, hitting your people up. What I be trying to get y'all to understand is, all right, Metro Council had seven white people. Seven. Seven white council members. And we had five black council members. The whole reason we were at redistricting and why why everybody showed up, the Power Coalition, uh, uh, Gilmore showed up, James Gilmore showed up. I'm talking about Mike McClanahan, um, so many uh, Myra Richardson, so many black powerful leaders. Um, <clears throat> and then Cleve Dunn really stood up for us to get it six six. Okay. If they did the redistricting on seven a, and it's stuff that none of us really understand or uh, uh, really under could get to. That's why you got to follow, follow people like the Power Coalition, Myra Richardson, uh, 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 Eugene Collins, and, and and people like that, and especially Cleve Dunn, because Cleve Dunn don't hide nothing from black folk. No. And I want to shout out all the black council members, because all of them stood tall at the meeting. I'm talking about, uh, what's my girl name? Uh, Gene, what's my girl name? Man? Oh. Huh? Shauna Banks. Oh, Shauna Banks. Stood up. You know, I didn't I didn't I didn't been mad at Shauna, but I, I mean for some she, years. She, she, look, I got to let it go. I had to yeah. let it go. You got to. That sister stood up and told the truth. Yeah. Um, what's my uh my other one, man? I can't think of her name. Dale Hurst and Cleve Dunn stood up. And you know Lamar. Carolyn Cole. Coleman. Carolyn Coleman, man. Yeah. When I tell you they came Just together and stood together. Yeah. And the, guess what the vote was? All right, it's seven white, okay, five, five black. Votes. The vote was seven to five. Absolutely. So you see why it's so important for us to get active. Now, if I tell you I'm going to slap the shit out of council member, all y'all going to come up there that day. Right. Don't make me lie to you. 
Because I'm not going to go up there and slap them because they need Domino in jail, so I won't be able to teach you niggas this shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, Dana? I mean, what do you think about that? Do you understand? All we was asking for, and guess what? Let me tell you what all the, this the problem I have, Dana. This the problem I have. All the retired, well-off, right. white people from Bocage right. and Chara and, and, and all those ni- nice neighborhoods, they were coming in there and they were like, we want 4A. We want 4A because when when something something happened, our council member was there for me. So what you think the black ones ain't gonna be there for you? Yeah, they there. You know what I'm saying? They're there. It was like you. It was so Jim Crow division, and then everything the black people got up there. I'm talking about from the people that know all about law and policy to just regular average black people. Right. Man, we showed up in numbers, and I I felt like it was rigged before we got there, dude. Absolutely. Seven five. They minds was already made up. No matter what y'all would have proposed or what was proposed, they were they were their mind was already made Man, up. And to me, that's what it felt like. Guess what? Yeah. When they don't beat you with the uh, with the baton with the police, right? They gonna beat whoop you. Black you. and white. They gonna they gonna whoop you and make sure you can't move financially. Cause guess what? If we could retire better, if we had more money to take time off, if we knew more about when these town hall meetings were, I wish we filled the whole building up one day with about three hundred black folk. That'll make them nervous. You know that? But they do it at the times when they know people are at work. One p.m. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So boom, that was seven to five. So they said no, six six no. We can't do six six no. So now we gotta sue the city, right? And make them pay. The, you know, how, you know how white folks say, yeah. "My tax money, my tax money." Make sure you get a food stamp and all that, that dog. Cause you need to go to work. We color. work too, man. Check this out. We work too. We work That's too. our tax money too. That we pay police lawsuits that y'all don't say nothing about when they blankly wrong on camera. Now we gotta sue you just to get six six Dana. We wasn't asking for seven five like they got. Never. Six six even. Now get now imagine if the council was six six right. that day. That day. We didn't need an Uncle Tom to go their way. You know what I'm saying? Or, 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 you our know, cousin Julie. Our cousin Julie to, to go, go our, our way. way. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> or just why why not stand up on the real? Just stand up on what's real. Now, on the same situation. Right? Alright. I mean it, it makes you mad, Dana. The whole setup when I was there, I was like, damn. Me and Gene could be here because we do this type of work and we got our own thing going. Right. But I know Buku people like, man, I'm going there. They couldn't. They couldn't. See, even when we going in there, we going in there poor. That's why I say free the money. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it's like when they don't whoop you, beat you physically with the police, they're going to whoop you and, and make sure you can't get a gun. They're going to make sure you a felon. So you can't arm and protect yourself. Because imagine a thousand black people with a concealed carry waiting on the steps, the front and the back of the building. I just be dreaming sometimes. I'm talking about a bunch of shooters, a hood that don't want to shoot black people no more. They just want to sit out there and look at your face when you come out that council meeting and say, oh, you voted the other way, huh? Ooh, Dana, you, you, can you imagine that? But are we picking them off? Huh? Are we picking them off because they voted the other no, way? No, no, oh. you just you just letting them know. You just looking at them. You can't do you can't do that, Dana. I would no, never say asking. that on live, Dana. I'm, I'm no, we're not picking them off, Dana. <laughs> I just I just needed to. You just want to let know. them know because look, you know what the white folk were doing. I'm I'm just gonna be frank. How you doing? My name Billy Bob. My address is one two three four five Howling Croft Road. I stay in a very nice neighborhood. I've been over there since 1987 and blah, blah, blah. That boy put his whole address up there. Absolutely. I want him scared to put his address up there. Because I ain't put my address. Go rerun the thing. I, I ain't know what to say when I got up there. Gene said the, the hood need to hear from me. <laughs> man, I got up there and pulled my heart out. Man, y'all help me. Come on, man. I tried to appease them and everything. Come on, man. Y'all help the guy out, man. Come on, man. Do something. Do something, man. Nigga, man, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> D, it, but it's sad, D, that we think about it. If something happened to a white person right now, it's automatically bad. You feel what I'm saying? Right. If um, if one of them black, if, if if a white person and a black council member get into it, right, they're gonna work that out. Right. But if I go up there and slap any council member, it's black, black on black crime. If I go slap a black one, right. You know, y'all need to change our ways and this, this, and that. Man, let a black that black council member get too rough with a white patron, he going to jail. 
Yeah. It's so, look, when you could see somebody kill me, oh, no, nah, not kill me. I ain't gonna kill me. Dude. You could see a black person get killed on camera. on camera. See all the proof. And we got to fight to beg the attorney general, to beg the DA. Do right. Do right. It took four years for them to do something for Breonna Taylor. Black folk. Do I have to lie and tell y'all that I'm going to slap the hell out the representative from Baker for y'all to come and, and come to the damn meeting, man? Do I, have to, I don't want to lie to y'all. I want to tell y'all the truth and y'all react right, on it. Right. Okay. Did you, see what, did you see what happened to Gary Chambers? Yeah, I just I just caught wind of what happened to Gary. Tell the people what you saw. Uh, how he was he 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 didn't get the endorsements. They took it no. from him. Yeah, he got it. What, but they took it from him. They didn't <coughs> give him a right to 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 run against the the, the other Democrat. What's the lady name? Oh, uh, I don't know the. I'm, they they irrelevant. But the lady who took it from him, I pulled that hell for up. Hold on. And Look. I'm looking at my phone because how about Instagram hating? I they won't let me go live. What you block for, D? I have no idea to say some comments. I ain't even been on social media. Keep me real. Yeah, I ain't you, even been on social Instagram media Instagram racist like that. too because if you if you sitting up there like think of all the shooting videos you right. see with little black kids saying I'm gonna kill my hop, I'm a murder nigga. Yeah, you could say that, but if you say anything to empower black people, or you tell the truth on them, they will delete you. You cannot go against the truth in the government. You know no, what I'm saying? Not the government. Look at all that protection on uh on COVID. Excuse me. The lady who this would happen, y'all. Gary Chambers, and uh correct me if I'm wrong, bro. Gary Chambers had won the endorsement single handedly. Do you know that they changed the rules on the day? The lady who changed the rules is the lady who's over the Democratic uh what is that? The Democratic Party? What they call that? The Democratic Party? A lady by the name of Katie Bernhardt. Katie Bernhardt. You know, when I speak, I speak to the ghetto. Hey, ghetto people. This lady, Katie Bernhardt, changed the rules during the meeting. Gary had won. Gary was finna be the, be the first black Democrat to be elected with, without uh, anybody else. It was just gonna be him. Wow. He whooped them. And guess what they whooped us with? See, they don't whoop us with chains and whips, D. Mm -mm. They don't whoop us that with that no. no more. They whoop us with policy. They whoop us with laws. They, they whoop us with systematic racism and systematic things. You know what I'm saying? Every law that they pass, you got to watch it. Because look, where's the crack law? Where's the crack law for Miss Brenda Jackson who died from smoking crack? Right. Do they have a Brenda Jackson act? Mm -mm. But they have Millie Law. They have a Millie Law. And you know, God bless the family. And I'm not saying that anything wrong with Millie Law. I like Millie Law. It's to, it's to protect the community from fentanyl. But where in the f is the Brenda Green, Chantel Jackson act? From the 80s when we were smoking crack it was like don't do drugs just say I no i wasn't smoking crack i'm just saying when our people that was the crack hit our people first <laughs> yeah but i ain't never smoked crack we either, i was not smoking crack i, I just needed you to come I, back with that <laughs> when we were smoking crack i never smoked crack well i i openly admit i sold a lot of crack well, i never smoked any crack because i ain't know what else i ain't had nothing else that moved that fast <laughs> but check this out what I'm saying is, when crack hit black folks in the 70s and 80s, well, 80s, right? 80s. Real hard, right? Paid in full, right? Paid in full. Where's the act to protect the, the people who were smoking crack? Was it an epidemic then? No, they only changed the laws to give us more To lock us time. up. Now, guess yeah. what? They still changed the laws to lock us up. That's what the Millie Act does. Yeah. But guess who started the heroin epidemic? The doctors. Malincroft, exactly. Yeah, Purdue Pharma. All my black people out there, I want y'all to Google Purdue Pharma lawsuits. Right. This is gonna prove that I'm not lying on who started the heroin epidemic. The heroin heroin epidemic was sing it was single handedly launched by Purdue Pharma and Malincroft. I'm gonna get y'all get y'all hint. All my street cats, all my street niggas, check this out. Malincroft. The the main letter is M. You remember the M30s, the real M30s when yep. they came out? That's Malincroft. That's who pro produced that. Purdue Pharma made the Oxycontin 80s. OC right. on one side, 80 on the other side. The Army Green Pill. 
the sales if and you know what I, I i went to jail for this i don't even care my sales that i used to sell these pills to were white you feel what i'm saying that i went to jail for in 2011 were white and didn't tell on nobody shout out to smooth r b we don't like rats check this out man look i'm on my bullshit today but i'm trying to prove a point to y'all when i was selling ocs and opanas <clears throat> we was getting them from the doctor absolutely did you ever see him boycotting walgreens or cvs nope you know that old retarded ass black man that be out there hating on drug dealers? With the, who had a sign? Yeah, man. <laughs> Bitch, go to uh Walgreens or CVS with your dumb ass. <laughs> he do have them signs. I hate drug dealers. That's an Uncle Ruckus <laughs> nigga there. <that'll... laughs> he is Uncle Ruckus. But he talk about the black man, period. Don't he want talk... to be married. They ain't nothing. The, the, the black men ain't nothing but some weak ass men. Now, I ain't gonna lie. Some of that shit <laughs> some true. Some of that shit true. <laughs> some see, of it true. But see, we open the door. We we so weak at things at times that we open the doors for niggas like Charleston White, niggas like yeah, him. Yeah, like Charleston Uncle White. Uncle Ruckus, them, them black folks that hate black folks. But we gotta clean our own shit up. Now, back to this. Google Purdue Pharma and look at all the lawsuits. They didn't pay billions of dollars of lawsuits. Cause look what they did. They sold a drug that they said wasn't addictive. Sure did. And guess what? It was found to be very addictive. Highly. And, and guess what? It's a controlled substance. Controlled substance. So they made billions. Schedule schedule three. Is it a schedule three? I can't remember. Schedule three. They changed them so much. If they I wasn't, changed. yeah, I think it was schedule three. Look, I was selling rocks before the uh the doctor shopping era. But you know, we used to have them vans and, and we used to have all kind of stuff going on. I used to see all kind of stuff. You go to the doctor shop and it was all cool, Dana. All you oh, gotta have is, have is your MRI. <laughs> all you gotta do is have your little MRI. I used to go get three, four scripts. Then they say, damn, niggas getting rich. Hold Too up. Too much. Niggas getting rich. Hold up. Well, them niggas were coming up with a van full of junkies. <laughs> Absolutely. Go in. Give them the 250 to go <clears> see the doctor. <throat> so what they did, they took this controlled substance. Right. Purdue Farmer and Malakoff got rich. And then they paid a portion of the, the money they got rich off. Now, white people are mad at the black drug dealers. No. Where is the anger and fury towards Mallincroft and Purdue Pharma? Hmm? The people who put that OC Oxycontin. Cause look, I used to when I used look, I used to go by one of my sales house. He was richer than me. That boy had Saints box tickets. Yeah. That boy was raw. That boy, look, he put an eight in each nostril. Scared the hell out of me. One of my one Tolerance of, my, was so one of my, my good man, my man, you know who put me in the game? One of my wife friends. Yeah. He said, dog, if you can find this pill, that more $80. I say, for one? Dang, I was working. Dang, I went found them pills. I know the hell you did. <laughs> 80 for one? 80 on one side, OC on the other, and it's arm and green, right? Boy, see, that's why I be saying free the money, because guess where else I used to get pills from? Old people. See, when you retired and you're in your wheelchair and you're in your scooter and you can't get your your children good Christmas gifts and the doctor gave you these pills and the mug strong, get what you're going to do. You're going to take time and sell your pills, man. <laughs> man, I know some old folk mess. They kidding up for the paper, bro. But they put so much constraint. And I don't feel no type of way about that, Dana. God bless them because guess what? They check coming. They on a fixed income. It's they just like Section 8. You make a dollar more, they take a dollar from you. Every con they don't whoop us with whips and chains no more. They whoop us with policy. Control. They whoop us with being broken. Then we try to when we go past you and go around you and start raising money, selling dope. You come back with you policies put the pressure and on procedures and yeah. Now guess what? I know the, like the lady Toya that went on the live. Toya is in her forties. The the sex offending the person who assaulted her sexually is still bothering her from her childhood to now. Wow. Who was your first weed man? My first weed man. Yeah, I I, I refuse to answer that question. Well, yeah, don't answer that. But well, do, do you remember your first? Yeah, one? you do. Mm -hmm. You mad with him? No. Did he harm you? I bought the drugs on your own. On my own. So you volunteered to go buy the drugs? Yeah. At your own will. At my own will. So. You, I wanted to get high. You wanted to get high. Yeah. So is your drug dealer a bad person? No. <laughs> Mine wasn't either. <laughs> <laughs> but um, it, it a, a lot of a lot of uh, our culture is not going to be the same as people that don't look like us. A I'm lot of things of that are accepted to us in our communities and our culture, they they 
people on the other side wouldn't even understand it. And not just and not just blacks. I mean, because you have some blacks who can't relate to what goes on in the hood because oh, yeah. they didn't grow up there. Yeah. They, you know, they grew up in the suburbs <laughs> or they they grew up, you know, they were sheltered. And I guarantee you, the common variable was they were blessed with a higher education. With a higher education, or their parents had one. Or their parents had one. Or their parents had one. Mm-hmm. So I, it all and see, it goes. It's a loop. Right. If you educate me more, I could do more. Right. If I don't have the sense of, uh, to educate myself, you see what I'm saying? Right. So if we force in these public schools where the good teachers don't even want to go because the private school can pay them better, but my mama can't afford a private school, then you, you're keeping me from a good ed- education. Right. You're whooping me with system policies and laws. You're whooping me when it's when we're trying to get people like Gary Chambers in there that's going to change some things. I'm going to tell you something. I do not like Democrats, but I like Gary Chambers. Uh, well, I don't you know, like Republicans either. But... Okay, that's fine. <clears throat> but you know, historically, black folks weren't Democrats. We I voted found that with out the Republicans. Mm-hmm. We only sw- <clears throat> our voting switch when Martin Nixon. Luther King went to jail mm-hmm. for the Al- in Alabama when he when he wrote the letter in Alabama and uh, John Kennedy's dad was, oh, Je- was Kennedy. yeah Kennedy Kennedy's, <clears throat> Kennedy dad at the time he had a lot of skin in the game. Mm-hmm. He he. Pulled some favors with the attorney general and told him, look, get that boy down there in Alabama. Get him out. Let him know that we working on it. And Lyndon B. Johnson, hands were tied at the time Mm -hmm. because he was he was sitting president, but he was his hands were tied. Yeah. And uh, him and him and Martin Luther King actually had a good rapport. They were friends. He generally cared about, you know, his well-being or whatever. Mm -hmm. And. He went behind his back, got him to get out, got him freed. And when Martin Luther King got out, of course, all the reporters in his face, the reporter come back and um, said, well, you know, how did, how did you get out? You know, and he said, well, I, I want to thank the Kennedy family, mm. you know, for. Uh, now, I ain't going to lie, I think the Kennedys was some good folk. Oh, no, the Kennedys was very cutthroat. They were. To the bone gristle. Man, I like history. They, I gotta... they, they, they was, they were, when I say they, they was gangster gangster, yeah, yeah they were gangster gangster. Like what kind of gangster though? Like. Gangster, gangster. Like with the bull. Joe had Joe had ties to the mafia. <laughs> yeah, so I that like whole all you. of that all of that conspiracy theories with the the Oswald, the Cubans, and you know all of that still got connection with Louisiana because New Orleans in that thing too. Oh, this thing so mobbed it's, out Jim Crow. Yeah, yeah this yeah. thing nasty, and you know who they, they always flow down, Pedophile. flow down down here. Oh, if you, absolutely. If you want to be a criminal, perverts. All, all you got to do is be a, a cop or a pervert. And, 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 and you're going to be all right. Did you see that they released uh, the man that murdered two people in 1979? Mm-hmm. He was a, a police son. Mm-hmm. Did you see they let him out after 42 years? Yeah, you don't think he deserved to be home? Uh, guess what they call him? Reformed. But do you think that he, do you don't think that, let's M- talk about that. Maybe he, look, I'm saying maybe he do. Maybe he is reformed. You know, I believe in forgiveness and, yeah. and giving people a second chance, right? Right. This he blooded, <clears throat> he bloody stabbed two people up behind drug money. Yeah. When they gonna let little Pookie out? I mean, let him out. Yeah. But the family was against it. You know, uh, you know, they spoke to be times. right. But what about the black brother that, that that shot somebody up behind some drug money? It it they have prison reform for that. Huh? The prison reform is working for that. They that. But goes, is it fair? I, we talking about him, and I know four or five of them that came out of Angola on life sentences. Black ones. Black ones. Mm, I work on, with one on, on a on daily murder, basis. On, on murder charges. On he he had several charges. Right. Several several charges. I no, I'm just like, saying, I feel like they were, I don't like it, Dane. I feel I, like they I don't, don't do like right it about us, But man. I don't. I'm not opposed to him. That man coming home. I'm not period. saying that. I just want it to be fair. I want it. I want sentencing to be fair. Oh, there we if, go. If 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 bottom line, if murder is twenty five to life, it murder should be twenty five. If I was eighteen years old and I committed this murder, you gonna make me carry this for the rest of my life, and I could have changed. If I, I was a same, model citizen, if the whole I was time the same in person, jail, yeah. yeah. Well, not just a model citizen <laughs> because you is dog eat dog. Yeah, and I was. Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah, in prison, yeah. so I gotta. I, I can't be soft. I can't be this. I can't be that. Mm-mm. You know, so it's dog eat dog. It's, it's let's it's, get it. It's, at, at, at all costs. I'm a mind, mind, and protect mind. Yeah, I'm a protect time. mind. But check this out, D. I just want fairness. Like we, uh, I'm just hate how we gotta beg and plead. And well, he had most. to beg and plead too. No, he didn't. His yes, daddy he was did. a police. He had to beg and plead. It don't. He still served time. 
They start swip, the whopping and bopping and bobbing, man. They, that's, they, it's resources, Dana. It, it's still, it's still, so 40 years. You think 42 years ain't no long time to be in yeah, prison? Yeah, that's a long okay. time. He and and Will Burrito spent a lot of time in prison too, and he and Bird Kane was behind him saying he was the most reformed prisoner in the world. That means Gary so. Taylor, who was the first fourteen-year-old to enter into new into mm-hmm. Angola uh, State Penitentiary, <clears throat> he had people all across the nation fighting for him, and he Louisiana still they, they would not it. allow him to come home. See he just saying? got free within the last what twenty two. What about the innocent people in, in Angola? We do you really want to talk about that? I'm sick of it, D. Like, do you really want to talk feel about like, that? This is what I'm saying. I feel like we don't have a fair shake at none of this. A lot of stuff we don't have a fair shake. I feel shake like if my person, if my people was a t- t- certain type of representative, or my daddy was public arms and whatever, them, I can get away with all kind of stuff. Because if I got that black and blue license plate, right, then that's police family, right? The red and black, what that is, five, five mm-hmm. people. I love five fighters. I donate to the firefighters association every year. You know why? Because I hate police. I donate to the firefighters every year to disrespectfully say, "Fuck twelve. I won't give you a They called my phone one day. I thought it was the feds. Bitch, y'all must ain't did y'all research. I know I ain't never fall on one of y'all list to call to donate to the police who killed that man in front of that store. Oh, would, that's what they call for? Uh, would you like to donate to the retired police? Well, fuck, fuck. I, boy, I wish that bitch was recorded. I cussed them out. <laughs> Don't you ever call my motherfucking phone donate to no nigga who be around here killing niggas and fucking over niggas, man. And letting the white man go, I'm going to give you a warning and a citation this time. I know they give black folks, but it's not fair fucking D. You know that shit ain't fair. Right. What they what they pull you over for? Oh, they pulled me over because I ain't had no license plate. I ain't had one in five years. Yeah, but what I'm saying though, <laughs> what they ask you when they walk to the car? Do you have any guns in this car? And I flash now, like a picture camera. Now, would they, when they pull over Katie uh, Bernhardt from the Democratic Reporter, you think they're going to run up on Katie car and say where the pistol's at? Nope. They ain't gonna ask that. Well, what's going on, ma'am? Well, Dana, that's what, what the fuck I'm talking about right I, now. You I know what you're what talking saying? about. All right, now I'm I talking get about. It. I'm talking about. I don't want to hear nothing about a couple black people got released and this damn police <laughs> son got out. Fuck. <laughs> it made me mad. Now this show explicit, man. God damn it. Now this show explicit. I need you to fuck. read the book that Will Burrito <laughs> and um, if I'm saying Will Cox, I think is his last name. They wrote a book about Angola mm-hmm. and it tells you about the history of it. Mm-hmm. Um, it talks about one of the, the prisoners from ni- in the 1920s mm-hmm. that they actually met while they were incarcerated. You know, Will Burrito went. 1920? Like, yeah. When Will did Burrito, Angola open? Uh, 1900. Like, it was and a slave know, plantation. I, it still is. Look, check this out. Yeah. That mug can run on his own, thing. Absolutely. It's the enterprise. We took 10 kids there, right? And I ain't gonna lie, I got to see it and it, it impacted me. You know, I was there to take the kids, me, big baby cowboy, and them. And 10 of our kids went, and only one died out of that team. Yeah, Devontae. And that hurt me. Yeah. But. <clears throat> and he was a good kid. He was a good kid. There yeah. was some, some wild stuff, right? Some of them kids still reach out to me. You know what I'm saying? Because they got to see dog, like, the, the way they took them in there, the more people need to go. Yeah. They took us in there. They showed us the youth, the people that was on like work for work, workforce diversion or the diversion program uh-huh. or whatever. That's the people with short term. Right. <clears throat> they was working, working on cars. Like when it's I some tell kind you, of program. You can go when you can go whoever work they can go live there. Yeah. Eat there. Stay there. Yeah. Get your car Have fixed quarters, there. Yeah. Man, I'm talking about paint it. Everything is everything. There. Everything. Everything. And it's deep. They had their own corn. Like I ate corn. Everything they come off everything you the eat in Angola chicken. come from Angola. They don't need the world for nothing. <laughs> they don't. They got free they have workers. More, they have more exported than imported. Oh my God. They they export but it's more big goods business. than it. So it's, guess what they need? Enterprise. They need you niggas to keep killing. They over the over one week of visitation, they generate a hundred and thirty thousand dollars in a week. In the rodeo? And visiting. Oh, just visiting. Just the food and the commissary <clears throat> that you a hundred and thirty thousand dollars a weekend. Man, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do because it's you like know. cause look, so they took them in there. Then you went seeing like the people that was on like uh the guy, the pre, uh, religious and pre, uh prayer part, like the, yeah. the Bible college yeah. part, whatever, right? Theology. They then they kept going, kept going, then they took us to see a couple people. And uh, man, when I tell you them the most positive people I've met in my life, and they're just waiting on a law or an act to change, 
my people from Ang- Angola are way more positive than the people in the streets whining about what they ain't got and what they can't do, right? Right. Then they took us to the infirmary, right? Now, they bring you f- from youth to old age. Okay. I went in there deep, and this where all the older men at. Ain't no top bunks. It's all low level, right? Okay. And the inmates are the, what, well, they're not nurses. they like the caretakers. they yeah. like the CNA, right? Hospice. They had an old man. <clears throat> He was laying down. You know what? It was two levels, but I don't think none of the older people was up there because I, I remember him looking straight up at the bed. And uh, he was he didn't move. He didn't blink. Now, we come in there with 10 kids, me, cowboy, big baby. When I tell you this old man didn't look left, right, looked like he barely blinked. He looked like he was dead, D. Yeah. I was like, damn, bro. And you just know OG finna check out up in there. Like, whatever crime he commit, he can't commit no more crime. He it's couldn't do with. nothing. You know what I'm saying? Then guess where they took us? To the Angola graveyard. Absolutely. Angola has its own graveyard. So when some people say they ain't never getting up out that thing. I know three people that's buried <clears> there. <throat> Recipe Skeet, T-Dog, Worm. They really be in there. And I'm talking about, man, that mug impacted me, D. I'm talking about I was trying to scare the kids and get the kids straight. You know what I'm saying? But it, it really made me like, uh, um. Uh, they're like, damn, bro. God really done blessed me to do a whole bunch of stupid crap out here and was able to afford a lawyer and able to be the charge here. And <clears throat> it's just like. Well, you educated yourself according to your situation. Though. I did. You had to, like, like you know, they tell you to educate. And, and our education system may be different. Like, you come, some people come from the school of hard knocks. And, mm-hmm. and, that's, and that's where you educate yourself from. You're mm-hmm. going to bump your head a couple of times. Yeah, the bad part about it was that I was always smart. I just um, use your energy somewhere else. Yeah, I was always smart. I just ended up um, like just falling to all the wrong things, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's just bad, D. It's just bad, man. And it's like I can't get people to really understand. But you know what I realized? I can't save everybody, so I try to save the people I can save. You know what I'm saying? Is it? But it's also <laughs> about. Meeting the person where they at too, mm-hmm. grace and mercy. It took me a while. It took shit every day. I'm learning because <laughs> I'm, I'm I, I got so many toe up ways. You know, um, certain situations make you think a certain way. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, certain experiences in life make you guarded in ways that you shouldn't be guarded in. Uh, and it, and it, at the end of the day, it affects uh, your life. It affects the decisions that you make. So it went with grace and mercy, it puts you it what? What? Kylie, man. With grace. Told him I was recording the show live. Get on here talking about your chair, man. Coco was last week. Not Kylie. (laughs) Pete. Bring Open the baby. The door, man. <laughs> Jesus, man. It just it (laughs) get away. Get away. It's just get away. The but grown one. It's all good. It's all good. I tell you, I record a live show. Call me ten times. <laughs> it's You're, all good. <laughs> it's all good. Man. I gotta jump off for a few minutes, but oh, I'm waiting on. I, I got a, my mental health uh, person checking in Straight with me today. <laughs> um, I struggle with it. Um, it just is what it is. Um, I scheduled this at the time when uh, our show was eight to eight to nine. So uh, I want to apologize to to uh, the viewers and to uh, my coworkers and, and my and my staff, man. I do apologize. Huh? Y'all time is very very valuable. Huh? That's my son. Yeah, that's my son. Yeah, that's look. You, you have to ask. Oh, you want to bring him in here, Kyle? Come take Dana's spot, man. You want to knock on the door? You want to get on live? Come get on live, son. He say, he say no. Say no. So look, I, uh, they ahead, send me, they ain't send me my messages. So All right, cause look, I'm gonna read a letter from uh from live McCann. from McCann. Yeah, guess, guess who right. I got today? Who you got? Oaktown stand up. Oh, Roman Trust Claire. Yeah, man, one hitter, man. <laughs> <laughs> he a real one. He a real one, man. Free him. Free one hitter, man. Dana be back in a little bit. She gotta go take care of her mental health. You understand what I'm saying? Taking care of your mental health is very important. You know what I'm saying? Gene, you over there VJing? <laughs> you got it on me, does this thing are gone? All right, y'all, I'm going to take the wheel right here, all right? This letter right here is from Roman Ch- uh, Trosclair, man, one hitter. I'm going to read you a couple pieces on here, man. 
uh, scare taxes isn't the way. That's old fashioned. It never worked for our generation, so it won't work for them. Y'all need opportunities for these kids. Go to the government, get a grant for trade schools it's, and other avenues for success. Uh, asking your child to stop selling drugs, robbing, or killing for money, and he living in poverty ain't gonna work. Majority of the families, the father figures are dead, locked up, or strung out on drugs. These kids need a positive mo role model. The presence of a man, not just mothers, y'all. This makes a lot of sense. Not a one day up. Then you gonna act as if they your kids. Stay in contact with them. Best thing I could do is what I'm doing now, fighting to get home so I can have these conversations with the kids in the physical form. You feel what I'm saying? <clears throat> If Louisiana can give a man a trade in the penitentiary, why they can't give him a trade before he, he get a conviction? You know what I'm saying? That keep the penitentiary empty if you educate more brothers instead and give them a trade in the streets. They'd rather give you one in jail like me and Dana was just saying so they can work you. You know what I'm saying? So they can make money. She said export was the uh, best thing, man. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Now, where would I... Uh, uh they have all kind of certifications here you gotta want it or do what the weak uh niggas do and give up they need opportunities and that's the business you know what i'm saying and uh shout out to one hitter man roman trust Claire, man now that made a lot of sense to me Ro roman said this man uh goc celebrity shout out to roman man he said why now you go to jail and they will give you a trade they don't, you don't have to pay, you don't have to fill out no paperwork, you don't have to, you don't have to pay no tuition, you don't have to get no financial aid, you don't have to get nothing from Sally Mae. They give you a trade in jail for them to work you as a slave. But in the streets, they're not gonna give you no type of education. Now somebody hit me up and said that uh uh DJ Boosie calling, what up, homie? <clears throat> um somebody told me that uh um uh that's I'm live. <laughs> Shout out to Pete. Uh, BRCC was giving away some trades, and um, I'm gonna put that information in the in the bio when the YouTube and when this one come out. I researched and analyzed from the, um, the the juvenile probation officer hit office hit me up and told me they had a place they got some trades. But then we're gonna have to see what's the numbers, what's the limits. How many people can? That's just like the workforce uh, program, what we used to call JTPA. How many juveniles will you have committing crime if they had a job, if they had a summer job to go to, when they know they can stack their bread up and go buy their own school clothes? That alleviates pressure off the parent as well, right? Y'all always talking about go to work, go to work, go to work, but is work available? Is the opportunity available? Am I old enough to go to work? You know what I'm saying? Maybe we need to start putting people into work a little earlier. When I, I remember we were so broke behind Quita May, Housing Authority, Hospital Plaza Projects. Man, when I got that summer job, oh my God, I was fresh going to that Oak, man. I went and got all the clothes I want, nautical, heel figure. I wouldn't wear heel figure now, but that's what we were wearing back in that day. The shoes, I went and got me some Eastlands. I was studs down, I took my clothes to the cleaners, but you know what? I wasted my money and now I know that, but I'm gonna tell you what I did do. I helped my mama not have to take care of me for that school year. Bought my own shoes, bought my own clothes. I even bought a nugget earring or two, you know what I'm saying? And had things rolling. Now, <clears throat> with that being said, we allocate money and put money into all kind of BS in Baton Rouge and Louisiana general. We put funding in places where nothing changes the numbers the stats nothing changes right when are we gonna start putting more money into education they didn't close the hospital they'll close the school why are we not opening more of that in the north you see what i'm saying why are we not bringing more ways for people to be educated or more ways for people to get some type of money i went and worked at the big buddy program shout out to miss gail um it was actually awesome I taught some classes and the kids was actually there working, right? Earning their own money. You don't know how to earn money until you start dealing with it. When I messed up that first round of money, uh, when I had that first job at JTPA, at, I think I at 14, 
By then, I had already been working two years. I don't know what's up with these cats because I used to go walk up on people building houses, ask do they need people to pick up nails and do certain things. I used to work, you know what I'm saying? At 12, we were cutting grass. If, when I didn't have a lawnmower, I borrowed one. I borrowed a lawnmower. Hey, ma'am, how you doing? I see your grass kind of high. You have a lawnmower? Yeah. Uh, can I cut your grass, please? Oh no! Some of them tell you no, but I'm I'm telling you, knock on. You can't do that now. It's kind of different. I, I, if somebody knock on my door right now, I'm gonna think you're trying to break in. The crime then got bad. But what I'm trying to tell y'all, young cats, is it's so many ways to hustle, bro. All kind of things is a legal hustle, man. You got ways that you can connect with other people who do things that can't get across to the people, right? Dana back in the building. It's stuff that you can middleman and and, and work with freelancers. Like if you know somebody who do graphics. And you got connections. A lot of y'all got big Instagram followings and can sell stuff to people and never yeah. have to touch the work. You put five or ten dollars on a hundred projects, you got you some money. Yeah. But you sell in volume. You're gonna have to make your money in volume because you don't actually do the thing. If you know a way or somebody that's just got out of school, they doing flies, they shooting this, they doing that. You might see the cat that's shooting videos. Right. He ain't got the big following. You do. Yeah. Tell him give you fifty dollars a video. <clears throat> Everybody I've seen your way. Oh, I book them. Book them yourself. You got it's so many ways to yeah, get money. Networking. It's about networking, man. And you gotta you gotta get off of Instagram and really get active. Or you learn how to use Instagram to get money. Now, Dana, you back. What you got to do what you, what you thinking about right now, Dana? Talk to me. Welcome uh, back. Uh, I'm, I'm how did how did Dr. Visit go? It it went on um, well. She gotta send me another link. Um, but <laughs> <laughs> it went well. Uh I one thing I'ma say is I'm gonna keep it real with myself. You know, and I and I could tell when when I'm towed up. Yeah. You know, I could tell uh, cause stuff start I start I I I spiral out of control if I don't if I don't um if I don't put some put some uh brakes on. Mm -hmm. So uh, I, I'm I'm glad that I started acknowledging it. Mm -hmm. Uh, not ashamed to admit it anymore. As a matter of fact, that one of the my prayers was this morning is. Don't be ashamed of nothing you've been through. Straight up. You know, don't be ashamed. And in God, there is no shame. Huh. That was one of the scriptures that and I read And he loved me no morning. matter what. Yeah, he, he do. He know I'm tripolar. I'm not yeah. bipolar. I'm tripolar. <laughs> you, you try it. I'm tripolar. <laughs> it's about three ways it is. I'm sweet, kind, soft. Yeah. Teddy bear. If you sweet to me, I'm sweet to you. I'm grizzly bear. Yeah. <sighs> you approach me. You, you, you approach me with... Brute force, I'm going I'm 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 to buck up. I'm going to tell you something I learned, Dana. <clears throat> our response is, is, a, is, a, is a key component and cohesive with our education. Absolutely. The smarter you get, the better you start to respond. Because I remember I used to respond to everything and anybody. I wanted to challenge. Niggas say something. I date. Anyone right. say something. Right. I used to like that. And then you know what I like? I don't like beefing with the weak. I like beefing with the people that everybody was scared of. That you're strong. Because when you slap the hell out of big dog or you get on one of them big puppies and whoop the whoop the brakes off him and everybody scared of him, it kind of make everybody else think like, I'm scared of him, so I ain't gonna meet him. All the people that scared of him, you kind of inherit that. Until you find one of the more daring cats like me. Cause I love I I found a dude that that act just like me. And guess what? I ain't like him at first. Because he was objective. Good. Then something say, nigga, you objective. Yeah. You don't just go with the flow. Don't. And then somebody hit me up, one of my OGs say, boy, that boy just like you. Ain't that something? And not get what that my nephew, I love him. Ain't that something? <laughs> <laughs> gotta, I, gotta, 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 you, you gotta call it is, call it what it is. Sometimes we, we be afraid of, you know, who we really are. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, you know, and when you can sit back and, 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 and ch either if it's if it's something that's messed up, got your ways tore up, you, there's something that you need to change in you, be be be, you know, accountable to say, you know what, I am fucked up. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> These another get day. away. Get away. Another another. You know, just being accountable. <clears throat> yeah. And and being open to you know changing for the better. One one thing I I, I thought I told you big head still not to knock hard man yeah man we so this ghetto way we do it live you got that disgusting. live don't, don't say who it is yo doom, 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 doom. I'm talking about you disgusting I already know you call me disgusting every day God, <laughs> dog, get on my nerves 
We ratchet, man. It's babies in here cheering, showing up. Sure work. Is. Hey, but my girl, you see what time she is, huh? I like it. Yeah, early. I, I, well, kind of early. I, I just wanted to see her here a little earlier than that, but, but she, I'm, a, she I'm here. grateful. Don't do that. I'm grateful. You don't know what she had to work through to get to here <laughs> this time. I love her. I got her back. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's, is it's, she it's waving a struggle at me? For single, for single parents. <laughs> the baby waving at me. Hey, girl. All right, <clears throat> check this out, y'all. Let's get to this word of the day. Who is on, me or you? It's on you. Mm. You. It's on me? Yeah, I, I had the last one. What, what was your last word? I, I don't it. know. See what I'm saying? I take it. I take it. The word for the day, it fits what we talked about today. Okay. Disparage. Oh, yeah. Disparage. Uh, regard or represent as being of little worth. He never missed an opportunity to, to disparage his competitors. You know, the Democrats and certain white leaders... <laughs> <laughs> Never missed the opportunity to disparage the black people. Stop me when I lied, D. You didn't lie. Stop me when I lied. They don't like to hear why it always gotta be about the why the white man got to do be trying to win every time. We don't want win. We want equal right now. We, we work on equality. winning. We, we want equality and that's equity. What it, is what Gene talked about. Equity, absolutely. I'm I'm in a I'm in a social um, justice class online. Mm-hmm. Um, shout out to Dr. Chris Perry over there at Southern University. One time holding it down. Yeah, you know, and it and it's teaching me so much about just the strength of Black people. Mm-hmm. You know, and it's teaching me so much about um, even at the time when they like how now we have a voice, we can speak. Even at the time when they didn't have a voice and they could speak, they still had people that was not afraid to be in your face and be like, I'm black and I'm proud. Like James Brown, even though he was a singer, he, you know, he was an entertainer. He still stood on the fact that I'm black and I'm proud and you can't change that. Watch me. Yeah. You know, and, and that's just is what it is. Yeah. And you know, it, it was a voice. Right. Um, and they still had people. Uh, we learned about the bread basket um, in What's Chicago. That? It's it's I'm 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 gonna get you to read it before I tell you what it's about because it okay. is 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 about. Um, but you said it live now. What about the people that ain't yeah, gonna read? They need to read it. Okay, y'all. Yeah. Go, if they Google, Google the bread basket, if you Google in Chicago, it, I go on YouTube. You 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 you're doing yourself a disservice if you if you do the cliff notes. I like that. But um, <clears throat> read it, and if you can't read it, get the audio version. Um, you know it. it it's just a gives book. You, it's a book. Okay. It's about the movement in Chicago. Okay. About the bread basket movement yeah. in Chicago. Did you know about the Green Book? No, I did not. Um, I'm gonna tell you about the Green Book. The Green Book is, was a book that uh black people compiled to tell black people where it was safe to go eat at, where okay. it was safe to go stay, homes that they can stay in, where people let them come into the homes when they were traveling. Yeah. It was uh it was actually beautiful. It showed them uh where they can travel in those rough times. Like you got to realize certain streets, certain towns, certain you ever areas. Of, you ever heard of a uh, what it is, Sunset Town or something like that? If you was it caught before the sun before went the down, sun went you down, might you might get you might not get lynched, all found again. Killed, found the I police. Get off one more time. Yeah, go it's ahead. D. It's all good. It's all good. <clears throat> so. So check this out. Um, it's a lot of stuff that y'all need to research, but the Green Book, man, y'all can research that too. Um, I like what Dana presented, man. Y'all, this is your homework for the day. Go check out the bread basket in Chicago and come back and tell me in my DM what you learned. Now, I told you what the Green Book was. The Green Book was actually a green book um, that black people had compiled with safe places to stay, eat when they were traveling, places that was safe to get gas. Uh, everything good? Everything good. good. I can, and, and you know what? I'm proud of you, sister, for uh, taking to the initiative and, and doing something with your uh, your, your mental health. Uh, appreciate that. Yeah, I, I appreciate that. Yeah, we we, you know we, we have to focus on that as black people. We got to stop this shunning away from stuff <laughs> because it's, it's certain things that I, the decisions I make in life now is for something that happened. It, when I was four or five years old, you know, so we we our childhood shape who we are as adults too. Yeah. I can I can confess to being a nutty buddy. I, I'm I'm kind of loco sometimes. That don't mean you loco because you have you no, I'm you, very... deal, you dealing with your mental health. You you if you dealing with it, you trying not to be loco. I'm trying. Yeah, I, go, <laughs> I look. I I call confess. Yeah, I know it's protected under HIPAA. I talk to my lawyers and nutty. my doctors. You know what I'm saying. I say, oh, if my psychiatrist, I say, is this is this protected under 
confidence in. And I won't hear and told everything. I'll be telling about them yeah. thoughts I be having yeah. when I be fighting, when I be sitting up there talking to myself. You know, dreams? It, man, no, I don't dream. Oh, every, I don't dream. Everybody much. who tell me that they don't <laughs> dream. They are sociopaths. I might be dying. What yes. is a sociopath? Explain you to have me. no like you like once you do something, you justify it in your doing. Like it's, I think it's, I do that, Dana. You think? You know how I used to justify drug dealing? <laughs> I had so many ways. <laughs> <laughs> I had an argument with my mom. My mama shut me down. I say, hey, don't say not to sell drugs in the Bible. She say, honor the laws of the land or obey the laws of the land. Right. Mm, you always got a verse or something. I always got a verse. Oh, Alicia full of wisdom. <laughs> she be shut Shout me out down. to Alicia. <laughs> Man, thing wouldn't take no drug money from me. <laughs> Real mamas that that you know that believe in God <laughs> like that, they don't they don't take that drug money On from a fixed you. Income. I'm so many tired to lie and tell her, Man, ain't no drug money. And and me. like like uh <clears throat> Tupac said, I hope you got the diamond necklace that I sent to you. you. Yeah, yeah, for real. He had to put it in the, the mailbox. In the mailbox. Yeah, because you ain't gonna take it out of my hand, you yeah. know. But um, for real, man, I get it. But now I used to. I might. I, I got sociopathic ways. I do. Did you tell Corey happy birthday? He, his birthday was three days ago. No, I talked to him. He yeah, didn't tell he me. he probably thought that you would have remembered. You need to send him a message and tell no, him. Happy he not birthday. mad at me, Corey. Like, I didn't say he did. I no, never this, said this, he was this, mad. This, this a thing. I'm sociopath. Why didn't me clean? I see. I got I so many children. Corey forgives me. You know how I many birthdays I got to man- remember D. D, I ain't gonna remember. I just know I, you Aquarius. I know. I, I know. remember your sign for I remember your right. uh, your birthday because I can remember that. Yeah. I put you in the pool with my little sister and them and all right. the Aquarius and Diana and them. you know the Aquarius gang. I put you in there with them. You know what I'm saying? Tell but yeah, D, boy, this thing on crew control. Boy, what's wrong with my people today? <laughs> It's a horrible VJ. <laughs> we ain't um. Uh, did we ain't even we, say that we was doing we, this today? We ain't top five today. Dude. It's all good. Man. We gotta get our show tighter, man. It's um. Uh, where we at? Let's uh. Let me see. Now we got we got left ten. So what we on? Ten minutes. All right. Um. We did the word for the day. We did the letter from the can. Um. You gotta <clears> tell me the history about Roma. You told me the history of Roma. No. 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 Why you ain't tell him? No, I talked to him about Roman. Yeah, the, the streets know who won here. Today. Not everybody. Huh? Not everybody, cause he got he got younger kids that's growing up, and and my nieces and nephews are encountering them. You know, mm-hmm. so and and they, them, them children need to know their daddy was a legend, a stand up oh, well, guy. And th- there you go, talk about it. Cause yeah. guess what? In 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 my heart. Roman is the I'm, you know I grew up in Glen Oak. Yeah, Roman is the realest nigga from Glen Oak. And he he brought the hood back when he came home after that five year. Now I saw the hood woke up. Yeah, they did. They get they, what? They, and he stand on he G O C. Huh? I put this shit together. Now I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> One more time. One more time. <laughs> yeah, but it, his his story is is a lot a lot of them like um. You know, um, Craiglin Gangs, Freedom, mm. Free, Free, you know, Ron Rico, Free Tulu. Oh, yeah. You know, Freedom. Tulu. All in was my role model. Yeah. I remember Tulu with the Jerry Curl. Tulu with the Jerry Curl, the yeah. big old hair bone. Yeah, big old. I'm big old slab. I remember and that the, big and old the plate. name plate. Boy, they had, you remember they did Cash for Gold? Yeah. Boy, Tulu had a chain right now. That mother probably been so much money at Cash for Gold and pay your mortgage for some Absolutely. money. Like, Absolutely. I remember him coming back there because, you know, uh, all these people grew up in Queen of May. Yeah. Robbing them, my mm-hmm. partner Nick and Wayne, all them, uh, Roy. Yep. Little Roy, man. That's his brothers. Yeah, and his brother, man. Mm-hmm. Two of them come back there. Bah, bah, bah. You can hear it all through the project. You hear it when they coming down that one way, boy. I ain't going to lie. Capitol High was the school to go. Every, every, I was at Capitol High, and I kid you not, I was in ninth grade, and everybody there. 9, 10, 11, 12. Now, I ain't going to say everybody, but you could tell who the boys was that represent they hood. Like, they was, uh, our park, our kids' parking lot was sitting on choosing votes. Now, I'm going to tell you, really. All gold I'm, butter. I'm glad you brought it up. You said there's Capital High. That I, You heard me. I'm a, yeah. I'm, I'm a, yeah, I know you're an Oak Town, baby, but yeah. I'm talking about <laughs> what nothing like Capital High. That's all I got to say uh, about that. I'm a, I'm a, and I, Gene, D, where you went? D. He, he, oh yeah, he, he terrible. Yeah. But he from yeah. that fold. Take this out. I, he, this yeah, out. he from the fold. Take this out. Take Capital this out. High. Hold up, DC. Capital High. We want to talk Capital about High. You, see what I'm saying? Like, you know I'm finna bust you up. Capital High. See y'all had to do that in, in, in high. Mighty school. Lions. We we drove and had school. The Red and Gold. See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? She know I'm finna bust up. Let's talk about Glen Oaks Middle. What? What? A, oh, okay. Yeah, where well, they don't even have a student boo. parking lot. Oh, ain't no boo. There's <laughs> some legends went there. Cause guess who used to drive to school? Look at Gene Boone too. But guess it. Now watch Ooh. this. 
I'm finna shut your mouth. Ivory Smith used to pull up in the teacher parking lot. Rest in peace to Ivory. Yeah. Yeah. And the twins came over there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm talking about. But he a South Side baby. Marcus Green. But he a South Side baby. Notra. Russell. Yeah. I'm talking about the real jungle. Glen Oaks Middle in the heart of Zion City. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I'm talking middle school. Okay. These kids were driving in middle school. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And hey, you talking about pulling up gold D's yes. and Magdalene's? Yes. Cedric yeah. Hargrave went there. Yeah. Oak Town. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. About that Oak. Oak Town, but still. still. Talking about that Oak. Just, we talking about Capitol High though. <laughs> Legends came out of Capitol Take High. Take your man. Legends come out that Oak too, man. <laughs> Don't do that like that. And guess what? Ain't no division. I love every hood. I, I love so it. But guess what? I sold something in every hood. Ain't that something? Huh? You ain't gonna tell me I ain't gonna get no money nowhere. I go where. I got what? I don't push the I don't push the button no more. You know what I'm saying? If I ain't supposed to be over there, I don't be over there. But if I got some money over there, I'm going over there. You dig what I'm saying? I just thank God for grace and mercy, Mm -hmm. and I'm 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 always gonna stand on what level say. I I could walk in any hood, no iron, no help. Level line. (laughs) I can walk in any hood, no iron, no help. I can't level. Le- <laughs> Domino can't. Some, some of these hoods, I need my I can. <laughs> I, need I stay unbiased. I need a crossbow, a knife, or something, man. I, you can't. I stay Dana. unbiased. Danny, you a female too? Yeah, huh? but I stay un. I didn't. I didn't. I'm. I am definitely Dana. female. Born All in woman. every hood. I can. I can go. I, I go didn't say I, I do. I go but everywhere I, I by myself, go. right? Because I would but be super alright. Some right. places, I'm gonna need a stick pin, a, a crossbow, a slingshot. I'm gonna need well, something. Well, you a man. You feel what I'm saying? You a man. Yeah, but I I don't roll with no big old. See, the bigger the posse, the pussy, the, the posse is. Yeah. When you need all that the help, bigger, the bigger the, the bigger the posse, the bigger the burial. The bigger the burial, the funeral. The more the more people gonna get buried. Oh yeah. Man, I be seeing all these dudes post guns and get killed. When you go to their page, the one that get killed, they got number guns and sticks. So yeah. what posting guns really do, D? I, I <laughs> It uh, it just show you upon uh, your your ops that you have. Uh, what they gotta come to be prepared yeah. for? But can they can you prepare for switches? <laughs> a thirty stick. If he if he miss all thirty, if, if he, he do you that, liable to get hit. You gonna get hit. You li- chopper, uh, uh, You liable to get hit. Ooh. We just had to talk about this with the gun control. You better we, make it count. You like? <laughs> I'm just it. Count is go count. Man, if he, how you don't, you don't know? It's over. Man, you don't know. Man. Bruh, I'm so sick of these people out here with this nonsense killing. Oh, it's garbage. Like, I, I <clears> responded <throat> to a murder scene yesterday, and it was heartbreaking over an argument over the gas pump. Mm. You know. That's that evangelist? Yeah. Nah, man. I, I, You know what I've learned, too? Once you're confident in your gangster, you ain't got to do all that. Like, I could even stand down and it don't, it don't anger, make me though. feel no type of way. But anger, if you easily yeah, anger, it it, 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 it it didn't have any, it probably, I mean, you don't know what the other person or the other people or what happened that transpired oh, that just triggered. This what I person. do too, this might help somebody. When I have a bad day, I stay my ass in the house. Oh yeah, me too. Because I'm fucked up. Like, oh, I'm, I'm shut I'm, down. I'll, I'll click out on don't anybody. Don't want to talk. I'll be wanting to go to wall with the, the, And my face gonna tell yeah, it. Yeah, I stay in the house. I, yeah. I stay away from everybody. Cause it ain't fair for people to be able to get a piece of my bad day. I feel like yeah. that's pussy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm having a bad day now. I want to rub it off on you. Yeah. And you. I'm gonna ruin you. it. Man, go sit your ass down somewhere and get your mind right, then come out. I like to be nice, polite. Yes, ma'am, no ma'am. Good morning. How you doing? Hey y'all. That's how I like to be, cause that's good for my mental health. You know what I'm saying? Right. I, I ain't got time for that foolishness, D. That's that's just how I roll, man. And Gene been really helping me out with my temper because uh every time I hear something that went wrong with black folk, I be ready to pull up. Cause see, I don't pull up. I ain't got no more black ops. I have no black ops. Now they may have some people that have me as an op, but I'm not their op. You know what I'm saying? I don't even pay attention to them. I don't follow them. I don't people who repost them out. And I would want somebody if you don't like me. Unfollow me. Unfollow me, and if somebody repost me, unfollow them, because obviously they believe in me. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because guess what? I unfollowed my cousin not too long ago. Reposting somebody, and it wasn't no blatant disrespect. Just, I don't want to see the name. I don't like him. I don't I don't respect some of these people right. out here. It's some politicians and some people and some street cats I just don't get down right. with. You know, <clears throat> the whole game is rigged, and it's all different. They they uh they hate on real people, 
they give people who expose the truth a hard time. Yeah, because yeah, like they that. just block me off live on Instagram, and I don't even know why. Yeah, and then the fake, the rats, the the, the cornballs. They make it. They make it. They but, let them live. But now with Domino, that's why I keep them. Everybody who hate me supposed to hate me because you either a rat, friend of a rat, sex offender, friend of a sex offender. Some of these people be sex Are you offender. defending them? You defend them. Yeah, it's their people. It's their people, yeah. And then, my, and look, I learned to stop telling people they pussy, dang. I get nothing the from people it. people be knowing. We just said about accountability, man. I used to say, I used to tell you, boy, you pussy. Yeah, but you ain't got to say I don't, it. I don't they say know it, no it. They know it. I hate when I don't even ask you. I, people used to come out always ask me because everybody be scared to say certain stuff. Domino said, I'll be like, ain't on that. And then I'll be like, you yeah, can tell them too. I said it, right? Me too. Mm-hmm. You know? Now it's like, man, I don't know. Man. God bless him. You know, God bless I don't fool with him, but God bless him. Me not fooling with you all to tell you what it is, dog. Some of my friends turn red too. And guess what? I don't do nothing for him. But this today's show. <laughs> I leave my daddy and my brother. Fuck you, boy. <laughs> Can't forget everything. Thank y'all for tuning in to the Ghetto Wave Morning Show. I'm your host, Johnny Domino. And I am Big Dana. Man, we see y'all next Monday. Now, what we doing? Monday, Ed? What we doing next Monday? We've been trying to work the times out of school, y'all. Bear with us. Eight. We're, eight? We're back at eight. D, D said we back at eight. I don't give a damn. I'm coming. Holla. Peace. We told her. <laughs> you killed the gene?